What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy. Some, some, some. Hit the keys. Here today to do a quick review and demonstration over Numa Player by Studio Logic. It is basically a playable instrument or a sample library, whatever you want to consider it. Um, it's pretty dope. It is free and it is good on Mac. It's good on PC. It's good on your Android. It's good on your iPad, your phone, whatever you want to use it on. It's got everything from pianos to electric pianos to strings to marimbas to accordions, etc., cetera, et cetera. Uh, Make sure if you guys like this content, though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button. Hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. But let's go ahead and get right into this review. Some, some, some hit the key. All right, guys. So when you open up Numa Player, it is going to look like this. It's got a ginormous GUI. So what I typically do is hit this detach button. I drag it up a little bit. Um, it's got a scalable GUI, so you can shrink the size. Um, so boom, we'll shrink the size just a little bit so it's all in screen. And bam, we'll put it into place and now it's good to go. Um, so as we're looking at the plugin, you'll see here it's got different sounds. So it's got different pianos. Um, so it's got a few different pianos here. Um, it's got some electric pianos here. Um, it's got different keys. So it's got clavinet, harpsy, vibes, marimba, um, just a bunch of different other stuff over here. And then down here, you'll see it has strings and pads as well. Um, so it's got different synth pads, choirs, strings, cellos, all that other stuff. What's cool about this plugin is that you can layer sounds together. So you can layer up to four different sounds together, which is fire. Um, it's got different effects, so you can add different effects. Um, you know, it's got your standard effects that you can add onto each layer. So you don't have to put all the effects, like you don't have to put a phaser on all four of the layers. You can just put it on one layer. So that's cool as well. Um, and then it also has uh, master effects. So it has delay reverb. Um, and then, you know, you can do some master EQ and compression over here as well. Um, it's got some settings so you can mess with your, your MIDI and your velocity range and all that other stuff here as well. Um, so that's pretty fire. Um, so I made a little sample beat as always. Um, so we're going to go ahead and play that. It's not mixed down. You already know the vibes on the channel. If it's mixed all the way down, I don't want it. Um, but, you know, here we go. All right, guys, so that's a little beat that I cooked up for you guys today. Um, I also want to say real quick, if you didn't check out the last video, check out the last video. We're doing a 10K giveaway. There's over $1,500 worth of prizes. You can enter for free and there's going to be 20 winners. Psh, card for that video is in the corner. But let's go ahead and hop back into the NUMA player. So as we look here at the NUMA player, um, as you can see here, we'll go ahead and go through some of the sounds. So this is what the basic piano sounds like. So not a bad sounding piano, but what you can do is you can turn on more layers. And so then you can add more layers to this. Um, and now it's going to sound like this. So that's fire. You can also come over here and then you can add like reverb or delay on to the actual all four of the layers or three of the layers or however many layers that you're using. So now what with some delay on there, it's going to sound like this. And then you can turn that level up and you can sync the BPM too. So that's also nice as well. We're gonna turn that delay off here for a second. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back into our sounds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and demo some of the sounds for you guys so you can hear what they sound like solo. 
Um, so let's go ahead and go to the next piano. Um, it sounds like this. And so something that I did forget to mention is that each one of the layers has different controls. So all the pianos are gonna have the same sound controls. All the electric pianos are gonna have the same sound control and tremolo over here. Um, all the keys and the keys are like the clavinet, the vibes, marimba, all that good stuff. Um, it's gonna have sound controls and it's gonna have chorus controls over here. And then your strings and your pads are gonna have flanger control and sound controls here. But all the controls are gonna be the same for each instrument in that setting. Um, so let's go ahead and check out the next piano. Sounds like this. So let's go ahead and check out the next one. It's an electric grand. So I really do like the uh, the first two Model Fs and the uprights all right as well. Now let's go ahead and check out some of these electric pianos. Um, let's go ahead and turn these up just a little bit. So some solid sound in electric pianos, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and go to another one. So let's go ahead and go through some of these key sounds over here. Um, so we'll start off with this clavinet. Let's go ahead and check out this marimba. So here's one of the accordions. So we'll go ahead and check out another one. So 
what's nice is there's three different accordions, which is wild. That's pretty fire. Then you got your old strings and your pads over here. Um, so you got a string ensemble. Go ahead and play that. Let's turn these off and turn this on. But I actually like these strings. Go to the string section. So what's nice about this, like, let's say we want to um, spice something up. So like, let's say we want to come into these marimbas. Um, let's see what they sound like. So we can come over here into the effects. And so again, you see how each layer will allow you to put effects on each layer. So we're gonna come down here to keys and you know, like let's say we wanna throw some wah wah on there and we wanna throw some distortion on there, right? So boom, we'll click back on there. We'll see the wah wah there. And then all you have to do is scroll on your mouse, which your mouse will. Um, or if you have a um, like touchpad, just scroll over and it'll get to it for you. But now this is what it's gonna sound like with the wah wah and the distortion on there. First, you gotta click this check mark, you know? And um, then after you click the check mark, it'll be on. It just gives it a completely different feel, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then you can mess with the tone if you want to. You can mess with the distortion, the amount. But now if we mix that in with like this with this piano, so let's go ahead and get this first model piano up. We can throw some strings up in here too. So let's get that strings ensemble going. Boom. And now it sounds like this. You know what I'm saying? So that's, I mean, that's super dope. It's so easy. And then you can mix so many different layers, get so many different effects, get so many different things going. Um, so, you know, like I can um, come up to the piano if I wanted to throw some effects on this. You know, I could throw, um, and we'll throw a chorus on there. Um, boom. And just click this one. It gives it such a different feel. Now up here, there are presets. So when you click on these presets, the presets are gonna have different effects as you see on the piano and on the master. Um, so it's not gonna be, like when you click on this and you click on whatever it is that you click on, it's not gonna just be your standard sound that you clicked on when you started here. So now this piano sounds like this. Um, and so then if I was to click on something else, you know, a, col a Colin concert, it's gonna sound like this. Let me turn it down a little bit. So you see how it's got that delay on there? 
but all of these are basically customized presets uh, just to give you a little different a bit of a sound you know you got different duos and stuff like that So in my opinion, guys, I think this is a very solid little free virtual instrument. Again, you can use it on your iPad, your phone. Um, it is a standalone application and it is also a VST. So you don't need to use it in a DAW if you're doing like live performances or if you just want to practice playing piano or whatever it is that you're practicing on, you can use this to practice as well to get your sounds out of. Um, I'll leave the download link below in the description. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments. And see you next time. Some, some, some. Hit the key.